poured sugar decorations for our cake. Uh, months and months ago, someone asked me to uh, do a video on how to make these, and I'm finally doing it. I don't make it. I don't make them very often because I don't make real, you know, big fancy cakes or anything uh, real often anymore. But here's the video finally for whoever it was that asked for it. Here it is. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with. It's a little piece of foam, a little piece of foam sheet, okay? I ordered these off of Amazon a long time ago, um, but I think you can buy them at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, stuff like that. It's just a little piece of foam, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw my numbers on here. Uh, the person I make the cake for, he's gonna be 12, so I'm gonna be doing a one and a two. Now. I'm sure that there's some chef, pastry chef somewhere that's just going to like cringe when they see this video because I know this is not the right way to do it, but this is the way I do it and it works for me and they usually look pretty cute. So, um, if you're not a fancy chef or anything and want to make some poured sugar uh, designs, this is the way to do it at home. <laughs> and I don't have a candy, thermo a candy thermometer either, okay? So, I'm just going to draw my one and my two on this foam sheet. Alright, so I've got my one and my two drawn, and yeah, they look terrible right now, um, but you can draw, you can make them as big as you want. Um, I usually stack up my cake pans, and I'll hold my piece of foam sheet up there and, to, and look and see how big I want my letters or numbers. So now I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and cut this out, and this is the kind of stuff that hurts my hand is this right here. So I'm just going to cut out my numbers and I draw these little things down on the bottom to cut those out too so it's like a little um, stick or you know it's so you can stick it down in the cake and it'll still stand up and you don't lose any of your number so that's why these little things are right there it's tough stick them in the cake right. I've got uh, my one and my two to match more the size my two is way too fat compared to my one so I just made my one a little bit better all right, so I've got a piece of foil, just regular foil. I'm gonna put the dull side up. I don't know why, that's just how I do it. <laughs> I'm gonna dab a paper towel with a little bit of Crisco. I have tried this with butter and it did not work as well. It, um, it made my sugar cloudy. So I use Crisco and I'm just gonna Make sure that it's, you know, it's a good layer of it on there because it also, it helps the sugar come up, you know, not stick, but it also makes this foam sheet lay down because when we pour that hot sugar in there, this foam's going to want to uh, lift up. So I just stick it to here with this Crisco so that it doesn't come up. I promise there is a method to all this madness. Um, I just, I don't know. Nobody taught me this. I just was saw stuff that I wanted to be able to make about 15 years ago. And so I just played around till I could do it. And like I said, this is not the right way. I'm sure this is not the right way to do it. But they do, it does make really cute little sugar numbers and letters. I haven't really tried to make any other shapes, but I'm sure you could. All right, so now I'm just going to stick this on here. Smash it down. Make sure it's stuck pretty good. All right. We're done with that. I'm going to come over here to the stove and make our sugar. All right, so now we're going to make our sugar, our hard candy is all it is. And it's two parts sugar, one part water, one part light corn syrup. So what I mean by that is <clears throat> two cups of sugar, then one cup of water, and one cup of syrup. I'm making sure I'm saying that right because <laughs> I messed it up on another video with the rice video with the ratio. So it's two parts sugar, one part water, one part corn syrup. So you can make as much or as little as you want as long as it's that ratio. So like I said, two cups of sugar, one cup of water, one cup of, of light corn syrup. I don't need that much. So I'm going to be using a half a cup of sugar and a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup, okay? All right, now I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of water. <clears throat> Turn this on medium high. Just gonna whisk it together. Um, I do not have a candy thermometer, um, but I'll show you how I know it's ready. Um, what, 
for hard candy, you want to cook it to um, hard crack stage. Okay, I think that's how they call it, hard crack. Yeah, I think it's hard crack stage. But anyways, what you'll do is you'll drop some of it into um, some water, just you know, room temperature works. I just use room temperature. Drop it into some water, and when it hits that water, if it cracks and turns hard immediately, then it's ready. Um, but you'll also you can you can you'll be able to look at it and tell when it's getting close to that because it gets real thick and bubbly. It doesn't um, really start to change colors. It might start to get a little bit more yellow hint uh, tint to it, but. Um, yeah, you don't have to have a candy thermometer to make this, okay? Because I do it all the time. I think I've made this twice with the candy thermometer. I lose my candy thermometers and my meat thermometers and my pizza cutters. So, you don't have to have those things, okay? <laughs> so, I got that on medium-high heat. I am going to turn the heat down uh, once it really starts boiling and stuff. And I'm slinging that everywhere. So, I'm just going to wait for this to come to a boil. All right, so it came to a boil, so I turned my heat down to a little bit below medium. I've got my little glass jar of water here. I'm using a glass jar, that way I can see it. I can see what it does in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here. I know that it's not ready because it's it's way too thin. But well, I'm just gonna do it, show you what, <laughs> how to test the stages of it. You're gonna drop it in. Let's see. All right, so it just falls all down to the bottom like that, and it's going to flatten out and eventually just dissolve real quick. Um, the next stage is going to be softball stage, and it'll form a little ball in there, but if you take it out of there, it's uh, it's soft, okay? So we're looking for hard crack, which means as soon as it hits that water, you're going to hear it crack, and it's going to solidify real quick. So it's not there yet. Uh, we're going to keep waiting. All right, so <laughs> if you're using a candy, th candy thermometer, Hard crack stage is 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and I think 150 Celsius. <clears throat> but if you don't have a candy thermometer like me, um, it looks a certain way when it's almost done, and you're just going to keep testing it, okay? Just keep dropping it in your water. Uh, I've turned it down to more towards low because I need this to slow down because I'm trying to make a TikTok video <laughs> at the same time, so I'm going to have to like, film with this camera and that one. So I'm going to check it again. Let's see. Nope, not yet. But it is getting more stringy. I don't know if you can tell, but see how it's getting more stringy in there? It's not just start, It's not just completely dissolving. See that little string? It's getting close. It's getting close. So I'm just going to keep on checking this. But if you have a candy thermometer, uh, it's probably better. <laughs> and in the, it's 300 degrees on your candy thermometer for hard crack. And it is hard crack, because I looked it up. <laughs> All right, while I'm waiting on it, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about uh, the flavoring. I'm putting flavoring in it. Um, these are candy flavoring um, oils. <clears throat> it does not take much at all. I'm probably gonna put, I don't have an eighth of a tea teaspoon uh, spoon. This is a fourth, so I'm gonna put probably about, uh, probably a third of this fourth of a teaspoon in there. Um, you can get these at Walmart and get them at Hobby Lobby, any cake supply store. I'm also going to put some food coloring in there, but I'm not sure which color yet because I want to put my flavoring in and see if it's going to, if, if that amount's going to give it a pinkish tint. If it is, then I'm going to do mine red. If it doesn't change the color too much, then I'm going to do uh, a yellow, okay, like a gold. And you don't have to put... Oh, it's cracking. Okay, let me show you. Let me turn this down. Hold on, you guys. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me turn this down. Okay, let's see if y'all can hear it. When it hits the water, it cracks, okay? So that's done. I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to stir in my flavoring and my food coloring. So y'all hold on a second. <laughs> I put my flavoring in, and it did not um, change my color too too much so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with yellow okay instead of red now before I put my food color in I do like to stir it a little bit um let's see I'm using this okay I'm just gonna start with a drop because these are very concentrated all right 
kind of want it like a gold color and not so much just the yellow. All right, that's the color I want, okay? There it is. So now, this is the part where you got hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> hurry, hurry. All right. I've got my X-Acto knife right here ready. And I got my camera. I'm going to have to stop and film for TikTok, okay? All right. I'm going to film this while I'm doing it, y'all. Here we go. It is going to make a mess. Just pour it in there. Ooh, this is hard to do, y'all. This is so hard to do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And if you get some on the side, it's okay. All right. Now, just go with the X-Acto knife. Push that down because it's going to want to lift up a little bit at the edges. Just push it down with your X-Acto knife. There is going to be um, some sugar that comes over the sides and splashes. I mean, it just it's just how it works. You got to do it fast before the sugar hardens up. Or you got to heat your sugar up all over again real slow. <clears throat> now, while it's still, I wish y'all could see me better. Now, while the um, sugar is still warm, the little pieces, oh, Lord, here we go. Let me see. Okay. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, you see how on the edges there's those little pieces, those little splatters? I'm going to go ahead and just use my X-Acto knife and mash down on that, make like a little hard edge, because then once it cools off, you can just snap those off real easy, okay? And you'll still have a nice clean line. Okay, so I <laughs> put my flavoring in, and it did not um, change my color too, too much. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with yellow, okay, instead of red. Now, before I put my food color in, I do like to stir it a little bit. Um, let's see, I'm using this. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a drop because these are very concentrated. I kind of want it like a gold color and not so much just the yellow. All right, that's the color I want, okay? There it is. So now, this is the part where you got to hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> hurry, hurry. All right. I've got my X-Acto knife right here ready. And I got my camera. I'm going to have to stop and film for TikTok, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to film this while I'm doing it, y'all. Here we go. It is going to make a mess. Just pour it in there. Ooh, this is hard to do, y'all. This is so hard to do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and if you get some on the side, it's okay. All right. Now, just go with the X-Acto knife. Push that down because it's going to want to lift up a little bit at the edges. Just push it down with your X-Acto knife. There is going to be um, some sugar that comes over the sides and splashes. I mean, it just it's just how it works. You got to do it fast before the sugar hardens up, or you got to heat your sugar up all over again real slow. <clears throat> now, while it's still, I wish y'all could see me better. Now, while the um, sugar is still warm, the little pieces. Oh Lord, here we go. Let me see. Okay. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, you see how on the edges there's those little pieces, those little splatters? I'm going to go ahead and just use my X-Acto knife and mash down on that, make like a little hard edge. Because then once it cools off, you can just snap those off real easy, okay? And you'll still have a nice clean line. All right, do the number two. Same thing all over again. <laughs> Let me get this phone over here, y'all. Ooh, it's getting hard. It's getting hard. Oh, Lord. A little imprint in that sugar that flowed outside of the mold. Okay. And sometimes that sugar will, if you don't hit, mash those edges down quick enough, that sugar will seep underneath this mold, and that's okay. Uh, when you smash that foam down on it, it'll flatten it out and you'll be able to just pop it right off once it's completely cooled. Dang it, I forgot to time the uh, how long I cooked the sugar for. Y'all just get a candy thermometer, okay? <laughs> and this one over here, the edges are cooled off enough that I can go ahead and pop 
pop those off that spilled out. You know, it may take you a couple times to do this, but it's okay. Uh, you know, like, see, this is too much for just two numbers. So if you messed up, you could always, you can reuse these more than one time. I think like four or five times is the most I can get out of them and then that foam, uh, you know, it starts warping. But you could always pop out the ones that you, you did the first time that you messed up um, and just heat this back up on really low heat until it gets, you know, fluid enough you can work with it and then just redo them. And um, if you crack your, your numbers or your letters, whatever you're making, you can glue them back together. Like there's been times I was making a cake and I did not feel like doing all that over again. So I heated this back up and I took my um, my number that it broke and I just dipped the end of it in there and stuck it back together like glue. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time, but if it does, then I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just let my number two cool, cool off, and then when they're ready to pop out, I'll show you how to pop them out. All right, so another thing. I'm not gonna do it yet because I may crack my, my numbers, and then I'd have to make all this over again just to glue it back together. But this is a booger to get out of this pot. So what I do is I, when I know for sure I don't need any more of this, I put a little hot soapy water in here and I put it on my stove and I just let it come to a simmer and I simmer it until all of that starts to dissolve because you could soak this in your sink for days I don't care how hot your water is it will take forever for this to dissolve to get it out so uh, that's a helpful tip if you want to do this because getting this stuff out of here uh, can be really hard so Pull them out. If they try, act like they want to stick, just use uh, the what you might call exacto knife and just pull it out the edges like that. Okay. All right. Now, once you get it out of there, there's probably going to be some st stuff. Like I said, not all the time, but sometimes that stuff will leak underneath uh, that foam. But it's real thin and it's easy to get off. You just use your exacto knife and real easily just kind of tap it and it'll pop right off. The edges, I'm real like funny about it and I want my edges real nice and straight. So this is getting all over me right now, <laughs> but it's just so I can show y'all. Um, I take my little thing here and I just lay it on there and I shave it like that to make sure that my edges are nice and straight it's not jagged or anything nice smooth edges like so <laughs> so that's all there is to it um i hope it didn't look too hard the hardest part to me about it is having to work real fast before that sugar hardens um and to make sure you know you are going to spill some over sometimes i don't spill stuff over but probably you're going to spill stuff over the edges of those molds it's going to come out if it does come out on top, just use your X-Acto knife um, and just mash down on it when it's cooled off just a little bit. It's not going to be hard yet. It's going to be just a little soft. If you do it when it's too hot, when you first pour it in there, then it's going to it's going to be stringy. It's going to string. It's going to stick to your thing and string out. So wait till it cools just a little bit and just make an indention. Um, mash down, make a little indention with your X-Acto knife, and then you can just pop those off. And um, if some leaks, then same thing. You just kind of tap it and uh, let those pop it off. And then just take the edges and shave it like that. And that's all there is to it. So here's our little numbers. Our little sugar numbers. Number 12. I've made sugar um, letters before. I've never made anything else besides numbers and letters. Um, but they're very cute. You don't have to put flavor in it if you don't want to. Um, I've made them plenty of times where there was no flavor in it. Whatever flavoring, whatever food coloring you want in, in it. And if you have a thermometer, just cook it to 300 degrees uh, to the hard crack stage. If you don't have a thermometer, yours goes missing like mine does, then just drop it in the water uh, like I did and wait till you hear that crack. 
And whoever wanted this video, uh, wanted me to make this video, I hope it finds its way to you. I know it's been months. It was a fly. <laughs> I know it's been months since I said I would do it, but here it is. Um, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.